Hi everyone, this is Nechama from Arc Intelligence and today I'm going to show you how to use the match slope command in the environment plugin for Revit. If you don't already know our plugin, it was created to help landscape architects or other site planning designers to avoid all these repetitive actions in Revit and to make the design and modeling process more efficient and fluent. So I have this little villa project over here with the roads around it and I prepared ahead a few situations that could demonstrate really well the different uses of this feature. So let's begin with just uh, taking this little floor over here and what I want to do is I want to create a walkway that connects this uh, sidewalk and this walkway which is actually part of a linked file by the architect that I linked to my project. So let's begin with just going to the environment tab over here and in the model element panel if we hover over this uh, tiny um, logo we can see this is the match slope command. So let's click on it and now we get this window pretty self-explanatory saying select target slab. So the target slab is the slab that we want to copy its slope. So the first slab we'll select is this one. If you select a slab and you want to deselect it, for example, um, the road over here, the way to deselect is just to click on it once more and it, it's deselected. And now the other slab that I want to select is this walkway that's from the linked file. So as you can see, I can select multiple target slabs as long as they intersect with the floor that I want to um, slope. Okay, so both of these intersect with this road in the edge. Uh, let's click apply over here and now we get the window saying select slab for editing. So this will be this floor over here. And let's say I want to add another slab for editing. It will be this little grass area over here. So as you can see, you can select multiple target slabs and multiple slabs for editing. Another nice thing in this feature, before we go ahead and click apply, I just want to show you that, as you can see, you can navigate around your Revit project really freely while still doing the commands. So for example, if I go to the site plan, I can see, um, make sure that this road actually intersects uh, with all the elements that I want to that I want to select. So let's click apply over here right now and once we click apply we get this match slope window there are a few parameters that we need to follow through. So the first one is reset existing shape. Um, I recommend using this um, checking this box if you have a floor that is already been modified and you don't want to add elevation points to it you just want to have a totally new slope. So once you check this box, reset existing shape, what it actually does, it resets the floor and then gives it uh, different elevation points all over. Now for the accuracy level, most of the times we recommend to go all the way down to zero. Basically the accuracy level means uh, how many elevation points will go into your slab. So unless you're dealing with a really complicated floor, um, the, we recommend to work with zero accuracy, which means you get uh, the least amount of points. And so it won't be heavy on your file. But if you're working on something really complicated, then you can uh, amp up the accuracy one by one. Just check how much you need it to be accurate because you don't want your file to be too heavy. Uh, let's move to the match method. It's also really self-explanatory. You have uh, all, all these little icons that really explain what it means. So in our case, we're going to use uh, top to top because we want the top of this road to align perfectly with the top of this walkway and this walkway. So let's go with um, top to top in our case. And you also have the, the option to offset your uh, slab for editing you can have it uh, above or under the target slab for us we're going to leave it at zero right now and let's just click ok and then environment will make a few calculations and 
very quickly you can see how nice it is you get this accurate slope automatically in the case of this little grass area so we got the slope only aligned with this road over here and I would like to edit it with all the other slabs that are relevant so let's go again to the environment tab match slope and now for the target slabs I'm gonna select a little bit more around this grass area so I'm gonna select the floor of the building as you can see it's really nice because also in the linked file you can select um, different elements and so we're going to select all the floors around it including our new uh, walkway and click apply and slabs for editing of course this is this little green area over here and click apply and now i will select the option to reset existing shape because i have two elevation points over here and over here that i would like to actually cancel and replace Accuracy, I'm gonna leave it at zero. I'm still gonna leave it at top to top and this time I'm gonna give it an offset of let's say five centimeters under um, the walkway. Now let's just click OK. So as you can see, it sloped really nicely along all these uh, floors and areas. So this is another really nice example of how it works and how it makes our job really a lot easier. Um, I want to show you another really good example of a situation that could really occur while planning an area and we really need this, this example. So let's say that I have this um, a road over here and the sidewalk and I could very easily go into the floor type and let's say add gravel bedding under the paving of the road but the thing is that in here I want to have gravel bedding underneath the entire road and sidewalk so it cannot be the same floor so I simply created this uh, floor going on this contour of my road and as you can see this floor is intersecting with this road so this brings me to another very important rule of this command so the two floors has to intersect at least one edge touching each other but they intersect in some way so if they don't intersect um, of course it wouldn't work um, so again we go to environment and click on uh, match slope and the target slabs will be uh, the road and the sidewalk let's just click apply over here and select the gravel layer and click apply and now I don't need to use the reset existing shape and of course I'm gonna leave the offset at zero and now I'm going to select top to base so the top of the gravel layer will go to the bases of these floor types and I'm gonna add the accuracy just a little bit even though I'm not sure I have to but I just want to make sure that everything is gonna go really correctly and click OK all right so we got our gravel layer under our road just perfectly and now once we have this one done it's really cool I have just another last example which I want to show you. Uh, this can happen also in archite architecture, for example, while having a sloped uh, roof over a parking lot, an underground parking lot, or sometimes it can happen when we have infrastructure tunnels under a sloped road. So that's the example that I prepared over here. So before I start, I want to say that this material is actually variable which means if we go to the structure edit over here you can see that the gravel material is variable which means that the bottom of this layer will remain wherever you planned it to be but uh, the top of this layer will just go up as we slope it and let's just see the example right now so let's go to environment click on match slope and the target slab will be this road and hit apply and now for the slabs for editing let's select all these um, gravel beddings over here and click apply let's take the accuracy to zero and click OK 
So as you can see, what we got over here is really cool because it allows us to actually calculate and know and model perfectly um, beam-wise all the gravel construction layers that we have under the road. Um, and so this is it. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Also, you're very welcome to go into our website, arcintelligence.com. That's arcintelligence.com and download our plugin for free.